श्रीनिवास मै डिर् प्रणव मी अंदर की रेस्पेक्टेड श्रीनिवास रेस्पेक्टेड प्रणव नात्र डिर् डिस्ट श्रीनिवास अंड डिर् प्रणव श्रीनिवास तो ना असोसीयेषन दोर दिन थर्टी थ्री इयर्स नीचे अपड़की इपड़की श्रीनिवास एम मारप ले सेम स्मिंग फैस द सेम ऐक्टिवन द सेम एनर्जी सो ई कंग्राचुलेट श्रीनिवास वेरी मच एंड ऐम प्रउड टू सी प्रणव ए वेरी डयनामिक यंग गाय हू इज लीडिंग दिश बिफोर ई स्टार्ट द स्पीच फस्ट लैट मी कंग्राचुलेट all the children for their wonderful wonderful performance let's all give a big clap it is not enough i want a big sound big sound let me congratulate the management srinivas and pranav the principal the staff every staff of this institution leads the greatest applause let us give a big applause to all the staff and faculty <laughs> my dear children i love you i love you i love you you have done a wonderful performance a marvelous performance i'm really proud of you i hope your parents are very very proud of you and let me tell you dear parents you are really fortunate to admit your children in this one of the best schools i observed this the way they organize the way they follow our bharatiya sanskruti our sanatana dharma is very much reflected in the performance in the short period so really it has touched my heart i'm really really very happy శ్రీకృష్ణుని వెన్న దొంగ అంటే శ్రీనివాసుడు మనసు దొంగ అయ్యాడు అదేమి సార్ దొంగ అంటున్నారు అంటున్నారేమో నా మనసులో ఏది ఉందో నలభై సంవత్సరాల నుంచి నా అనుభవం ఉన్న ఆలోచనలు ఏ ఉన్నాయో ఎప్పుడు దొంగతనం చేశాడో తెలియదు మీ శ్రీనివాస్ టోటల్గా ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేశాడు నాకు కావాల్సింది ఇదే మన భారతీయ సంస్కృతి మన ఉన్నతం మన ఉన్నత ఆశయాలు ద వే వీ షుడ్ రియల్లీ డెవలప్ అవర్ చిల్డ్రన్ the way we should see the future india is really is being reflected here so i am very very proud honored to be the guest of this occasion i am really thankful to srinivas to pranav and really blessed to be with you my dear parents my dear children one thing i would like to share with you is the most important thing let me share my feelings with you my dear parents the future of india is just the young generation the future of india is not the properties that we build up it's not anything it is just just the young generation so it is our total responsibility to build up the career of these students and let me tell you there are three important people who share this responsibility first the parent the teacher and the student it is a triangular relationship the career of a student or the future of a student is a triangular relationship please please understand every one of us have to play our respective role properly sincerely duly faithfully then only we can expect the children to they grow in the right direction as a parent remember that just by sending your child to the school or by paying the fees your responsibility ends no 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 you have lot of responsibility as a father as a mother never plead the excuse that you are busy please remember i request all the parents to underline this point never feel that you are busy never feel that you have no time to take care of the children having given birth to a child it is your responsibility which cannot be avoided by you so you have to take care of the child 
his psychology, his behavior, his attitude and everything, you should watch. Because as you say, the mother is the first teacher. At home, the child learns a lot. And you must be knowing that in the first three years of the life, the child learns a lot. Whatever he learns in the next life, the first three years are very, very crucial and important. And who is the teacher in the first three years? It is the mother. So, Amma Yakka Patra Chala Chala Gopadi. So, Daichesi Tallulara, Mi Badhyatun Maravakandi. Pillal Nu Karna Tarvata Vala, Yento Yento Badhyata Avitanga. Bhagavan Thur Mi Meeda Pettina Badhyata Ka Alo Chinchi. Vala Kosam Miru, Chala Chala Kasta Padali, Badhyata Ka Aundali. Vala Chakka Ni Pavala Ka Diddali. Alagay, the next after three years, you are handing over the child to the teacher. So the teacher has the greatest role to play in the career of the child. Teacher has the greatest role to play in the career of the child. So therefore, my dear teachers, I request you, I request you, I request you, never forget your duty. It is your duty not for eight hours. It is 24 hours duty for you. Wherever you are, whether you are in the school or at home or anywhere, but your child, yes, he is a primary for you. So his career is just depends upon how you mold him. Nijanga Japarante, Vadu Chinna Matti Muddalanti Pillalu. Venna Muddalu. Karnaka Vadan with Yella Mold Chester or Allah Thayarotar. So therefore, as a teachers, we have a lot of, lot of responsibility. So I request all the teaching faculty through your source, not only this school, but all the teaching faculty in India or in the globe should take the total responsibility in molding the next generation. The next to management, the management also has a role to play. And unless they give you proper support and guidance, and unless they have a systematized approach unless they have the proper ethics, the things will not materialize. So the management also has a very important role in supporting the good teachers, in molding the inefficient teachers, in taking care of seeing that every minute is used properly for upbuilding of the students. So the management, the teachers, the parent have a lot of responsibility. And beyond all, the student is the primary, he is the first most responsible person. Unless the student realizes his responsibility, nothing can be done by the others. So therefore, my dear children, please raise, raise, raise. Raise to the occasion, develop yourself. Sky is the limit for your growth, my dear children. You can grow, grow like anything, like Vamanavatara. You know Vamanavatara, one feet on the ground and one feet on the sky. So therefore, sky is the limit for your growth. So take the opportunity of all these situations. I mean, your teachers, your parents, and the God's blessings, the environment provided by the God, the opportunity given by the God. It's because of the God, you are blessed to have such great parents. You are blessed to have such parents who love you. It is because of the God that you are blessed to have such good teachers. Therefore, my dear children, you have to play your role. And let me tell you one important feeling we have in mind. These days, mostly the students are getting spoiled by using the cell phone. Please, please avoid giving the cell phone to the children. Parents, if you want to spoil the children, there are three important, there are three boons that you get. Mood varal hivuts me, pillal me, chakka ka paadjaya alan kundte, mood varal hivuts. Vakati cell phone chetula vettadamu, rendu motorcycle hivuttamu, mood of the, si thappu idhe anumata. So, valu thilsi thelian age, andhola valaki, viri yanta yuval no, ante yuval. Cell phone usage has become a nuisance and hundreds and thousands of people are dying every day just because of cell phone. The cell phone, 95%, 99% is misused by the younger generation I'm observing. So therefore, it's very sad that children are being given a cell phone. They should know the responsibility. 
So please avoid giving the cell phone or sending the child to the school with a cell phone. I stopped teaching the last, last five years back just because my children were bringing the cell phone, they were not obliging to stop getting the cell phone. I told them, if you bring a cell phone, I, I don't take the class. But they were bringing, I said, I'm sorry. You are not, I just don't want to take your class. I stopped teaching the students just because they, they were not concentrated because when they have a cell phone in the hand, you know what happens. Especially mind is a monkey. So monkey cannot keep quiet. So please keep them away from the cell phone. Second important, which I observe, this is my observation of my last 40 years of education field. The moment he comes to a 10th class, you are buying a motorcycle. Is it necessary? Is it? Just think. And with the motorcycle, you know, they are getting number one, either they are prone to accident because they override, they don't follow the rules, they don't know how to drive. So, so when accidents are happening, why we should lose our child just because that fancy thing? So please do not give vehicles. It is your duty to drop the children. Either the school should have a bus, or if you don't have the bus facility, please come and drop your child in the school and go. It is your moral and responsibility for the parent. So please keep this away. The third thing is many children are getting spoiled because of money. You know, money spoils many. Especially in that small age, they do not know the value of the money. So by giving more money, they are going in a wrong direction. Is it not? You are all observing. So they are going in a wrong direction, wrong thoughts, wrong friendship and all that. So these three things should be avoided completely as far as possible. The next thing is watch their performance every day. Please do not go to bed unless you observe, you talk to your child at least for 15-20 minutes. Better what you have learned, what you have done in the school, do you have any problem? Just talk, be a friend to him right from the beginning. Then he will rise to your occasion. So these are the few important things that you should keep in mind. Thank you, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you all.